Apple is reportedly developing its own AI chips for its data centers. This is according to a report out from the Wall Street Journal. Now, in a project calling it ACDC, and it comes as the tech giant just unveiled its newest iPads. Tom Forte, Maxim Group Managing Director and Senior Consumer Internet Analyst, joining us now. Tom, lots to unpack today, but first let's start out with that report that we got from the journal, just the interest here, a possibility that we're going to get Apple's AI chips. What exactly, how big of a catalyst do you see that being for the stock here? Sure, so when you look at artificial intelligence, it's going to be incredibly expensive from an investment standpoint and then from an operating expense standpoint. So you're seeing companies across the board, Amazon and now Apple, uh, that are trying to address those costs. So in my opinion, this is more about improving the costs for AI for Apple than it is necessarily a new product release leveraging artificial intelligence or things of that nature. So I think it's good news for Apple, but I don't know that I would necessarily buy the stock. I certainly wouldn't consider uh, changing my hold rating on the news. Tom, how much is it going to, when you talk about it improving the cost here, by how much? Yeah, so I do think it can meaningfully improve the cost. One of my favorite data points from the March quarter was on the Amazon earnings call when they talked about Anthropic pointing out that large language models cost a billion dollars to create today and in the future could cost $10 billion to create. So I don't know that this is a $9 billion uh, cost saver for Apple, but I do think that they can save, you know, very significant in the millions of dollars to the extent that they employ these chips at the data centers uh, to improve the efficacy or, you know, to make it cheaper to leverage artificial intelligence for Apple. Well, Tom, there's this question that you hinted at where there's sort of this appetite for product news from Apple more so than just kind of being uh, defensive on their spending and efficiency here. So I want to ask you about this iPad announcement that we're just getting in. It's thinner, faster, has a new screen. How excited are you about that news? Well, apparently Manage is excited because when they gave their outlook for sales in the June quarter, they indicated that they expected double-digit revenue growth for the iPad lineup. So I think that it's good news. The challenge for consumer electronics companies, including Apple, is that there was a huge pull forward in demand, uh, similar to what you saw in the home category in the early stages of the pandemic. And you haven't seen normalized growth rates for a lot of these products, including tablets. Uh, I think it's good news, but I would also say it's already reflected in the stock, given that management had already indicated that they're projecting 10% plus revenue growth for iPads in the June quarter. All right, Tom, I also want to get your take on another big headline coming out here this morning, and it's involving Apple. There was a report out from DigiTimes saying that Apple is considering a partnership with the U.S. EV maker. A lot of talk about whether or not that's going to be Rivian or the possibility here of it being Rivian. But just last week on Market Domination Overtime here on Yahoo Finance, you expressed some disappointment that Apple gave up its car plans. I want to play that for our viewers and they get your reaction to this news on the other side. I want to get past the fact that they're not doing a car. So, so as a Tesla Model 3 owner, um, I see a million opportunities for Apple to do at least as well, if not better. And then are they truly going to move forward with robots? And are the robots going to be a consumer device? Uh, are we going to have the robots in our homes? Or is it going to be also robots at the assembly plant, uh, which is kind of what Tesla seems to be doing? So we do see Apple back in the EV game to some extent. Is that a smart move? It sounds like you think so, and why? Well, all right, so when we were used to you know, think about what Apple might be doing with electronic vehicles, uh, before the notion that they were going to potentially make the car and everything, uh, what we thought they were going to do was the self-driving feature. So perhaps Rivian or one of these other non-Tesla automakers, Apple may get involved and work on the self-driving technology as it pertains to the car. So it doesn't change my frustration as a Model 3 Tesla owner that Apple's not creating the Apple version of a EV, uh, but it is, I guess, a you know, small step in the right direction, show that they're not giving up on EVs entirely. Okay, but real quickly, Tom, I'm curious about why Apple just mentioning AI and even having it come up earlier than ever in their earnings report, why that's not a more bullish signal for you, especially given that we have guests come on all the time saying that they just want to see Apple starting to become a major player in the AI race that they're kind of viewing it as, as losing so far. The way I think about it is in 2024, 
uh, AI means a lot of revenue for NVIDIA. And then it also means a lot of revenue, but not as much revenue for Microsoft Azure, for AWS, for Google Cloud, for a company like Apple or any other, you know, consumer electronics hardware company, AI is more of a future opportunity than it is a sales and profit mover in 2024. Mm. So I look forward to learning more about their future product lineup as it pertains to artificial intelligence and what that could mean for revenue years out from now, uh, less so today. All right, all about those product announcements, hopefully more than the iPad in the future. Tom, thank you so much for joining us. That was Tom Forte, Maxim Group thank Managing you. Director and Senior Consumer Internet Analyst.